before, after. Today I will show you how you can decrease the ping and increase the internet speed in Windows 11. If you are using Windows 10 it is the same. But before, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow me on Instagram. First go to the search bar, type device, press on device manager. This page will pop up, here you have to go to network adapters, press on this arrow, right click on your ethernet connection, press on properties. Go to Power Management. Uncheck this boxes. Then go to Advanced. On the Adaptive Interframe Spacing, select Disabled. Enable PME, select Disabled. Energy Efficient Ethernet. Select Off. Flow Control, select Disabled. Gigabit Master Slave Mode, select Auto Detect. Interrupt Moderation. Select Disabled. Interrupt Moderation Rate. Select High. IPv4 Checksum Offload. Select Disabled. Jumbo Packet. Select Disabled. Large Send Offload V2 IPv4. Select Disabled. Large Send Offload V2 IPv6. Select Disabled Legacy Switch Compatibility Mode Select Disabled Link Speed Battery Saver Select Disabled Locally Administered Address Don't Change Anything Log Link State Event Select Disabled Maximum Number of our SSQs Select one queue. Packet priority and VLAN. Select packet priority and VLAN disabled. Protocol ARP offload. Select disabled. Protocol NS offload. Select disabled. PTP hardware timestamp. Select disabled. Receive buffers. Select 2048. Receive side scaling. Select enabled. Reduce speed on power down. Select disabled. RSS load balancing profile. Select closest processor. Software timestamp. Select disabled. Speed and Duplex. Select 1 GB Full Duplex. System Idle Power Saver. Select Disabled. TCP Checksum Offload IPv4. Select Disabled. TCP Checksum Offload IPv6. Select Disabled. Transmit Buffers. Select 2048. UDP Checksum Offload IPv4. Select Disabled UDP Checksum Offload IPv6 Select Disabled Ultra Power Mode Select Disabled Wait for Link Select Off Wake from SOX on Magic Packet Select Disabled Wake on Link Settings Select Disabled Wake on Magic Packet Select Disabled and wake on pattern match, select disabled, then press OK. Close this page. Go down here to your internet icon, right click on it, press on network and internet settings. Go to advanced network settings. Then go to more network adapter options. Right click on your ethernet, press on properties. Select internet protocol version 4. Then press on properties. Check obtain an IP address automatically. Then check use the following DNS server addresses. Type here 1 space 1 space 1 space 1 and 1 space 0 space 0 space 1. Then press OK. Close this pages. Now you have to download two files. 
link in the description. Go to the TCP Optimizer, right click on it, press on Run as an Administrator. If you don't run it as an Administrator it will not work. On the connection speed you have to select how much megabytes per second you have on your internet download speed. I have 100, then go down here, check custom. On the TCP window auto tuning, select normal. Windows scaling heresitics, select disabled. Congestion scaling provider, select CTCP. Receive side scaling, select enabled. R segment coalescing. Select Disabled MTU Select 1500 Time to Live Select 64 Select all this here to Disabled Then go up here to the Advanced Settings On the Max Connections per 1.0 Server Select 10 Max Connections per Server Select 10 Local Priority Select 4 Host Priority Select 5 DNS priority, select 6. NETBT priority, select 7. Max and retransmissions, select 2. Non-SAC RTT resiliency, select disabled. Initial RTO, select 2000. Min RTO, select 300. Non-best effort limit, select 0. Do not use NLA, select optimal 1. Network throttling conducts. Select Disabled FFF System Responsiveness Select Gaming 0 TCP Act Frequency Select Disabled 1 TCP No Delay Select Enabled 1 TCP Del Actix Select Disabled 0 Large System Cache Select Default 0 Size Select Default 1 Max User Port Select 65534 And TCP Timed Wait Delay Select 32, then press here on Apply Changes, press OK, and it will ask you if you want to restart your computer, press No. Close this page. Go to Low Ping, right click on it, press on Run as Administrator. Wait a few seconds for this, then press any key to continue. And now you can go here and restart your computer. And that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.